this is a weak base, strong acid titration. So I'll just note that over here. Weak base, that's ammonia, strong acid titration, just in case we need that information later. Okay, so uh, first I want to find the millimoles of acid and base. 0 0.2 molar times 75 milliliters. Uh, that'll equal, is that 15 millimoles? And then for the other one, we have to do the same 13 times 0 0.5 molar. And this is 6.5. This is 6.5 millimoles. Okay, hopefully I did my math right. We can see that the weak base, ammonia is in excess. There's more of it. So this is what we call the buffer region. If a weak base or weak acid is in excess, we call it the buffer region. That means we're going to use Henderson Hasselbalch. Okay, before I do that, I'll need to find out how much acid and how much base do I have. So the way you do that is you go uh, write down the reaction, NH3 plus uh, the strong acid you want to write as H3O plus, your life will be a little easier. The strong base, if there were a strong base, you'd write as OH minus. Yeah, perfect. So this goes forward 100%, uh, and we get NH4 plus, so ammonia gets a proton, H3O plus loses a proton. Then you write the amounts in that you started with, so it was 15 and 6.5, 0, 0. And then you're going to lose the limiting reactant, so that's the minus 6.5, the lesser one. So I went through and added everything in. Now, what's the reason I did that? You have, this is my base, and I have 8.5 millimoles of it. And this is my acid right here, and I have 6.5 millimoles of that. So now I can put in the Henderson's Hasselbalch. pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid. Yeah? Um, why does it go forward 100%? Strong acid. Yeah, that's right, because the strong acid, H3O plus, which was from here. So does it, even though it's with, even though NH3 is in excess? Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, it's going to go forward until it runs out of the strong, okay. whatever that strong is. This case is a strong acid. It's going to go forward until that's gone, and then you see there's zero of it here. There's still extra of this, and that's now we get to the point we, we have just created a buffer. Yeah. Is that all right? Okay. So, resume. pKa, that's a negative log of Ka, which you gave me earlier, 1.8. No, it's Kb. Kb. Huh? Oh, that's Kb. That's too bad. Blah. Okay, scratch paper. I'll do that over here. Uh, KB. Uh, oops. We want KA because we need PK. So KA equals KW over KB. KW is going to be given on the exam. Uh, KB, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. You need to calculate this, I think, it's 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. Okay, so now I'll put that in here. 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. Negative log of Ka, that'll get you there. Then, plus the log of the base over the acid. Log the base is 8.5, acid 6.5. It doesn't matter if it's not molarity because they have the same volumes, right? That's right. That's right. So it would be 75 plus 13 would be the total volume. So if I did that in another color, uh, let's see, 75 and 13, 88. I'm dividing both of these by 88 milliliters. 
it would matter a lot if you were doing the ice table. So the ice table must have molarity in it. But since we're doing Henderson-Hasselbach, really you can either use moles or you can use uh, molarity, whichever you feel like. Yeah? Can we do a dilute storm?